What's up, guys? Flint Mod 14, and we're back here with some more uh, Final Fantasy VIII. Let me turn this up a little bit. Uh, today, we're gonna just keep doing what we were doing. Look for the rare cards, and uh, yeah, let's see if we can uh, find them. I didn't really do anything in between episodes. I just kind of uh, transferred the last video, uh, which uh, I think I'm gonna title basically like why card mod is good or like how to use card mod and why it's good you know uh so yeah i basically just transferred that to my uh computer make sure everything's sounding good looking good and uh yeah i i do love this game though that um one of the best things i love about it is that oh he played it okay he played that uh that card right there at the very top of his screen, that is the mini mod card now. That card has two nines, pretty strong. Um, one thing we can do though, this might force it out if we if we play our usual Armadoto here. He doesn't have anything else with uh, that can beat the six. So it may force him to play, yeah, yeah, okay. So this is the mini mod card, very, very good card. Uh, it's a rare card, as you can see by like the gold border around, uh, yeah, so and it's got two nines, so pretty good card this early in the game. Um, we're gonna go with the usual move here with Krista, and hopefully we can win this game, because if we can, then uh, yeah, we'll be done here. Um, can he take a one, a three? <laughs> he has all ones on the left side. That's great. That's great for us. Okay, so we'll take back our Armadoto to even it up. That's a smart move. That's a smart move. Um, but I think we got him checkmated here. So let's just play Torama right here. And it doesn't really matter what he plays because yeah, he can't take us, but we can take him at the last minute. I crit for the clutch. Give me that mini mod card. All right. Yeah, that's the mini mod card. Okay. So we've got this guy's rare card. All right. And after you get a rare card, or you know, yeah, I highly recommend you go ahead and save. So we're gonna do that. Wow, that's good. We got that to start the episode. Okay. So I was, I was honestly getting a little worried <laughs> that it was taking us a while. But, uh, okay, so we'll, to go for the next rare card, um, you can either head up uh, to the second floor classroom where we started. Well, let me just show you guys. Let me just show you guys. Let me just, let me, let me just show you guys. Because, um, yeah, this rare card, you can actually win from, um, from up to three people. All three of them have a chance of playing it. But ultimately, I think I'm going to head to the one that I think has the best chance. Uh, hey, um, when's the final seat exam? It's today, you didn't know. Oh, really? Gosh. How many girls are taking the exam? I think it's only one this time around. Oh, only one? Jeez, I hope she does well. Huh. Interesting. So, apparently only one girl will be taking the seat exam today. Hmm, interesting. Uh, anyway, if you talk to one... You remember these girls from the start of the game? Yeah, uh, Tr Treppe, groupie number three. I can just picture Instructor Treppe fighting for you. Instructor Treppe has defeated nine enemies. I had such an in instant image of her. Only nine? Oh, this would be your stats. You've defeated 40 enemies. Yeah, okay, I was about to say, but I don't even care about you. Oh, okay, yes, but if you play her in cards, a game of cards, yeah, there is a chance she can play um, a rare card. So let's try our new mini mod card out. Yeah, we'll go with the green. We'll go with uh, still. Should I go with Krista? Well, mini mod kind of functions as Krista. Now we'll still go with Krista, and then we'll go with uh, Armadoto. No, maybe I should go with Torama. Huh. Uh, let's go with Armadoto. Okay, she didn't play it. Ooh, but she did play. Yeah, that card at the very uh, the top of uh, her list. We really want that card. Um, we, in fact, that's the card we're going to be grinding for like a whole bunch of on stream. Ooh, man, this is actually looking a little rough to start. You know what? I'm going to make a crazy move. We're going to play Mini Mog right in the middle because I'm sure she'll take it with something, but then we can just take it back. Okay, yeah, that's the smart move. So we can take it back with the three. I know it'll leave our armadoto exposed, 
but that way Minimog is cut off, you know. So let's even up the score. Hmm, interesting move. I expected her to take Armadoto there, but we can actually, the catcher parallel will be cut off. So I think it's smarter for us to take this, because she can't take a seven. So let's do that. Hmm, okay, well at this point, we are winning, so let's just guard the cards we have. Nice, and we win. Yeah, that was a little more defensive than I usually play, but we did get the, uh, yeah, this card. This is the card we're going to be going for 80 of, and it is kind of rare for opponents to play sometimes, the Ellen Oil card. So that's what we're going to be grinding for on stream. <laughs> I am kind of glad I won at least one. I can't believe I lost. I'll get you next time. Yeah, I can't believe we... I, I'm glad we won at least one, so I can kind of show you guys that's what we're going for. Uh, but yeah, both her and this girl have a chance to play the rare card. Oh, the exam's over. You better not have caused Instructor Trepe any trouble. Nope. Are you look, really looking out for Instructor Trepe? I know you know. So far, you've been knocked out zero times, and Instructor Trepe... Oh, apparently she'll tell you your KO stats? Let's play around a game of cards. Cards? Sure. I'll play. Let's play. Let's play Final Fantasy VIII. Let's do it. We're doing it right now. Uh, this card's also pretty good. Kind of has similar stats to Oom. Um, yeah, except the 6 and 7 are reversed. But in addition, Tom Berry King has two fours. So that's pretty good. Uh, we'll go with these, 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 and maybe I should go with the Oom too. Yeah, let's do that. Ooh, she played an Elden Oil card too. Wow, we're getting lucky with that. Uh, okay, let's start with Tom Mary King right here to take the catcher pillar. Pretty good, pretty good. Ah, oh, she took it back, okay. But oh, we can take this with the Oom. So there we go. She'll probably take it back with the Elden Oil. Ah, oh, yes, 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 but your Elden Oil has a seven on the bottom. So, let's play a little strategic here. I'm going to do what's called a waiting move. So we're going to play Krista. Right. No, wait. What am I doing? Yes. No, wait. We are going to do a waiting move. I'm going to play Krista right here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's kind of what I wanted. Now I can play Eifert here, and we win. Give me that El Noyo card. All right. Well, uh, man, that's pretty lucky. Maybe when I do the grinding session, I should come... Shucks, I lost. Let's play again sometime. Yeah, maybe when I do the grinding session, I should come up here. And uh, normally I don't play these two in cards, but uh, yeah, they seem to give the Ellen Oil card right away, which maybe that's a good sign. I don't know. Wow, a lot of people here. Uh, let's talk to them, because I haven't really talked to a lot of NPCs up here. Good luck with the seed. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, buddy. Oh, that's all you have to say. What about you? Oh, Squall. Glad to run into you. Remember that last lecture? Uh, you know, on gun blades. Oh, I heard you and Cypher are the only students to choose gun blade as your specialty. Really? Huh, I didn't know that. Well, I guess I'll, I'm kind of glad I talked to this guy. Would you mind showing it to me? Uh, nah, sure. I'll let you see it. Sure, I'll let you see it. Swing! Hey, you! Swing in that gun blade! Oh, Mr. Aki? Oh, who's this? Oh, a teacher. Uh-oh. School! Was that you? This is against school regulation. You're going to be penalized. How can I expect you to live by society's rules when you can't even obey school rules? Oh. Um, who are you? I've never... What? I'm sorry, sir. Uh, oh. Yeah, wow, I guess I'm kind of glad I triggered that cutscene. Must study hard to become a seed. Hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of glad I triggered that cutscene. I didn't even know this guy was... Mr. Aki. I didn't even know this guy was in the game. Uh, you want to play cards? Oh, okay, no. <laughs> okay. Wow, um, interesting. Okay, well, that's like the first time I've ever seen that character in this game. Anyway... Let's talk to these people, I guess. Hey, aren't they connecting the final seed exam today? Yes, I heard only 12 people qualify for the field exam. I wonder how many will pass. Oh, the failure rate is quite high. And I heard the squall is taking it this time. Uh, I'm kind of right here, man. I can hear what you're saying. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How long have you been listening, Squall? Uh, the whole time. I was here the whole time. Me too. Wait, what? I'll have to try even harder. Try harder. Okay. Okay, yeah. That was, yeah. <laughs> that was so weird. Like, it was almost like, well, I guess it's to be implied they were talking about you behind your back. And then, you know, you just so happen to walk by the hallway and hear it. Uh, anyway, that was some pretty interesting, uh... Yeah, I didn't even know about Mr. Aki there, so... Okay, extra cutscene. There you guys go. Uh, so did you guys know that guy was in the game? Because I sure didn't. I sure didn't. Uh, anyway, let's save to that. Okay. Alrighty. Well, we're going to go to the last person who can play the rare card that uh, we're looking for. I just need to see D myself. Good luck. Hey, thanks, buddy. Uh, we're gonna go to the last person that can play this rare card. Um, I usually duel this person for the rare card, not because, like, they're easier or anything. It just seems like, for whatever strange reason, um, this person seems to be, like, I don't know, I don't know, maybe it's just my experience, but he seems more likely to pay, play the rare card we're going for than those two girls up there. Um, but that's just, you know... That's just my experience. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, you know, <laughs> maybe I just have good luck. Maybe I have bad luck with them. I don't know. Anyway, first time we've been over here. So today is the seed exam. I choked last time. I was way too nervous. At least you made it to the field exam. I haven't even passed my written test yet. I guess you're not as smart as I am. Hmm. Yeah, right. You're at study hall today, too. Yeah, so am I. I guess we all just suck. We're just a sad bunch. Sad. Sad for you! No, just kidding. Sad people like us, all we do is complain in the cafeteria. Sad. Huh, face palm. Were these guys complaining the whole time? I, I guess so, Squall. Anyway, let's talk to this, these pair of guys. Uh, talk to me. Uh, the guy in front of me. A uh, friend of Trepe Groupie number one. Ah, okay, so that's ultimately who we're going to talk to here. So, how's it going? Huh? Uh... Huh, so how's it going? Huh? This guy's kind of spacing out. The guy in the back? What do I need to get closer to the... Oh, lovely Quistus. Oh my god, fanboy. Uh, snap out of it, man. You'll never be a seed. Because you're always too busy thinking about her. <laughs> what a weird guy. Okay, well, anyway, let's talk to Duel, the guy in the back. How about a quick game of cards? Sure. All right, buddy. Let's play. And we'll go with Oom. Oh, and okay, guys. This is why I usually play this guy. He played it right away. That is the Equistus card, so pretty good card, huh? It's got some nines, and uh, that's the first card with an A we've seen, which is Ace. Uh, and basically, Ace is the highest value you can play. He also played some other cards we haven't seen yet, so... Again, we're gonna play Minimog in the middle to bait it out. Okay, good. And we'll play, uh... Um... Tonberry King right here to lock up Minimog. Okay. Okay, he took Tonberry, but we can take Tonberry back. We can, we can. Uh, but should I play the Oom instead? No, I should actually... Hmm, I don't know if we'll be able to win this one, guys. I really don't. Um, well, let's just even the score. Yeah, I really should even the score. Okay. A I think it's going to be a tie. I think it's going to be a tie, unfortunately. Let me think here. Yeah, we kind of have to play Krista here. Yeah, yeah. I thought I thought he'd make the smart move and play Thursavis there, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. We'll, we'll go for it again. A draw, eh? Let's settle this next time. Yeah, let's do it, buddy. But that is the rare card we're going for. The uh, Quistus card. And uh, all three of the uh, Trepe, the Trepe group, all three of them can play it. So uh, maybe let's put uh, Torama in this time. Maybe that'll help us. 
Oh, he didn't play it this time. Okay. So we'll just go for the regular win then. Uh, can you take a seven? No. Can you take a six? Well, you can with, uh... Uh... Hmm. But then I can just take your five, so... Okay. We'll do it. We'll lure out his, uh... What is this? This is a, uh... Oh, yeah, behemoth. Right, right, right. Um, let's play... Yeah, let's play Mini Mog in middle again. Yeah. So we can just take it back with Torama or whatever. Okay, okay. Bell Pamel is this card you played. Um, oh, well, you can't take a five. Yeah, so let's play Krista over here. Nice. Okay, okay, this is looking good. Let's... Take this. Well, hang on. If I take it, he can take it back with the Iron Giant. Let's play this up here to block it off. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, because no matter what, we can take the card on the bottom. Very good, very good. Okay, so we get that. Uh, this card's also pretty good as far as using card mod on it and to getting higher weapons. Iron Giant. Uh, yeah, so you may want to go for about... Eh, about like nine of these or so. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah, because those can eventually refine into uh, star fragments. So definitely worth going for. So Okay. I think you need like three to refine into star fragments. Oh, he's trying to change the rule. Uh, let's pay attention to you. Yeah, yeah. Uh... One? No, no, no. We want all, buddy. We want all those cards. Yeah. Switch to all. No? Sometimes they won't switch, though, and you'll just have to go back to the queen of cards to uh, change the rule back to all. Ooh. Yeah, this guy's not playing. This guy's not playing. Still gonna say one? There you go. Okay. We had to stick with it that time. But yeah, this card's pretty good. Behemoth 7765. Seven, That's pretty good, honestly. Uh, also, the Elmoil card's pretty good. 765 as well, this early on. So you may want to consider that. Uh, yeah, let's try playing with these two cards. And then we'll go with uh, that. Uh, and these two. Yeah. Okay, he didn't play the Quistus card. But uh, we can just start with Tonberry King. Once again. Yeah, once again, we'll have to lure out the uh, behemoth, but that's okay. Okay. And you can't take a six, so... Ooh, that card at the very bottom he has, so that's the first time we've seen that card. Uh, Chimera. Yeah, Chimera is actually very, 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 very good this early on. Uh, let's... Well, I could just take my mini mug back here. Um, uh, can you take a five? Oh, yeah, he has the Iron Giant, huh? Uh, hmm. Okay, in that case, let's take Bell from L. There we go. Even up the score. Ooh, that's an interesting choice to play that in. Huh. And that's actually a pretty smart choice, because I can't take that card. What I can do, though, is block off this square. Yep, and we went in the clutch again. So, that kind of worked out. Yeah. All right. Got a new card, Chimera. Yeah, this card is honestly pretty good this early on. So, all right, we'll just keep dueling him till he plays the Quistus card again. All right. Looks like this guy might take all episode two. Yeah, Chimera is right here, yeah. Yeah, usually the cards at the end will show you, you know, your best cards, but, uh, not, not always, not always, but, you know, uh, yeah, Chimera is pretty good. Yeah, the 765 lineup again, that's pretty good, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, okay, no Quistus card, let's just, and he's going first. Yeah, honestly, I feel like we could have won that, uh, the Quistus card the first time if, uh, you know, if we hadn't had to go first, I feel like we would have been in good shape. Uh, I'll go ahead and take this because, yeah, he can't take it back, so it's fine. Bell Hamel, huh? Uh, let's go with this right here, Tom Mary King. Okay. 
Okay, and he finally played the Diggs and Wedge. So I'm going to actually play this right here. Oh, yeah, we haven't won this card before. I'm going to play this right here. Ah, Fatal Error. Yeah, and see, that's why I like Minimog, because if you can force the action, much like Krista, into columns, then, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. You know, that way you can use the power of the nines. So, all right. Give me that Diggs and Wedge card. <laughs> it's funny. We're actually seeing that card, but, uh, those characters will be around a little later in the game, and, uh, they're pretty funny, too. All right, can you play the Quistus card, please, sir? Uh, let's go with this, and this. King, and the last two, yeah. Mm, no, ooh, he played some new cards, though. Some very good cards, actually. Okay, so let's play Eifert right here, I think. Yeah, that seems good. Yeah, Ruby Dragon and uh, Marlboro uh, Tentacle are both new cards to us. Um, let's play this here. Actually, I don't even need to do that because I can take Ruby Dragon with Minimog if I just really want to. But if I take it now, he can't take it back, so there's that. Eh, yeah, we'll take it. We'll take it. Okay. Oh, I'm surprised you played that move. If that's the case, I'm actually going to protect my Chimera from your uh, Marble there. Yeah, bad move there, buddy. Bad move. Um, doesn't matter what we play now, we win. Because you can't take anything with a one. Yeah, that was... <laughs> uh, man. Uh, but this is a card you might want to use a lot early on. Yeah, Marlboro. Two sevens is pretty darn good. So, I'm actually glad we got that card. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's a pretty good card. Okay, so we'll go with this. And this. Um, yeah, let's try Marlboro in place of Chimera. Um, and then we'll go with... Um, Elnoil and Tonberry King. Yeah, six and seven. Okay. All right, man. He, he played Quiz's first first thing, but he hasn't played it since. Um, okay, well, we don't have to worry about your uh, behemoth with this. So, ha. Yeah, get rid of that behemoth. I like to see that. I like to see that. Okay. So, we can actually take behemoth. And he doesn't have a seven this time. Yeah, he has Iron Giant, but, I mean... We can, we can basically take that card for good, which is really good. Okay, and he played the, uh, this is a new card. Yeah, Jim 497 in. Uh, we'll be seeing that in me a lot, lot later, but uh, we'll take this. Okay, we can take that with this. Yeah, and then we're left with the, with the nines. Ooh, so I'm gonna take a card at the last minute here. <laughs> Alright, give me that Iron Giant card. Sweet. And we get a new card. Alright, and also we get Mesmerizes, which are good. Okay. Uh, after this duel, I'm gonna see what time we're at in terms of the episode. Oh, okay. I'm gonna see right now. Um, I think we can go for about five more minutes. So we'll try this guy for about five more minutes, and uh, <laughs> if we can't get it, you know, we'll just try for Quistus in the next episode. Maybe a very short episode, just depending on the luck, you know what I mean? So, um, Marlboro, there we go. Unless we get it right here, okay, no. Yeah. It just depends, really. It just depends on how fast he plays it. Uh, Ruby Dragon right there is an interesting choice. Um, let's play... Let's actually take that. Let's take that with... Elm Oil. Let's do it, because he can't take back Ruby Dragon, so... Okay, we forced out the Behemoth. Um, we can take it with Marlboro. Let's do it. Now that card's cut up. Mm -hmm. Now let's take this with Tonberry King. No, let's take this with Eifert, actually. Well, no, no, no. I've heard we'll have eights and sixes up top, so yeah. Tonberry King. 
Huh, interesting choice. Oh, he actually couldn't take anything. Because all his cards on bottom have two. <laughs> Looks like I got you this time, buddy. Nice. Yeah, that wasn't too smart. That wasn't too smart. Leaving all your cards with twos. Uh, yeah. Looks like I got you that time. Yeah. Alright. Quick game of cards, yeah. And I'll keep an eye on the time here, but, uh, looks like we're nearing the end of the episode. Let's see. Illinois, Marlboro, King. Tomberry King. Okay. Played another Iron Giant, which is good. Uh, this card's also new, right? Yeah, Elastoy. Oh, <laughs> weird-looking enemy. We'll be seeing that card, that monster a little later, though. Uh, 7 and 6. Really good, yeah. I mean, I can take it with Marlboro, I guess. And it's cut off. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. What are you going to take with Marlboro? Ah, taking it from there, huh? Well, if I take this back with Elm Oil, you can't take it back. So, ha. Yeah, not too great. Okay. And if I take Behemoth, you can't take that back. Or I could just take Iron Giant. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now I can take this with Penny Mog, and we win. 8-2. to two. That's really, really good. Elastoid, which is new. Nice. Uh, what time are we at? Four eighteen. All right. I'll try one more, and then that'll be the episode, guys. So let's see if he plays it to in the episode in epic fashion. Uh, Marlboro. There we go. He did not. That's okay though. Now you guys know at least what card we're going for. Um. Huh. Six and seven, huh? Yeah, you can't take that back no matter what, so let's just take it. Ah, very good, very good. But then we can take yours with Minimog. Yeah, you can't take it back. Oh, wait, can you take a five? You can. Okay, let's take that. Very good. Ah, blocking it off, huh? But then I can use my Elm Oil. <laughs> Gimme. Big mistake, pal. Big mistake, because I've got my Tom Berry King. All right, we win. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Um, also, to end the episode here, I think I might have gotten enough... Uh, let's see. We go to card mod here. Let's check something real quick. Oh, yeah, I did. I, did. I got it. Yeah, three to revive into a star fragment. Um, star fragments will help... Um, you upgrade some weapons in this game for some, you know, for, yeah. So you may look into that. Also, uh, yeah, we got seven behemoth cards, which uh, ten can refine into a barrier, which will teach Quistus a new blue magic. So you may want to consider that uh, going against the sky. I don't know. It's up to you. Also, the Tomberry Kings can give us a, ooh, a chef's knife. Ooh, I think we wanted one of this. So let's grab one of that. And um, next episode, we will go uh, against this guy some more, try to duel him, and uh, try to get that Quistus card. But I will s see you guys next time. Uh, yeah, sorry we didn't get it the first time, but unfortunately, he went first, which that's not fair, man. You can't go first with a card that powerful. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, thanks for joining me, everyone. Uh, we're just gonna head back and save, and I'll see you all next time. Alright, have a good day.